All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Abandon, and in today's video, we're back in XCOM Chimera Squad. So I realized the last episode was called Disappointing Day, and uncoincidentally, the one before that was called Promotion Day. So we had a lot of good stuff happen two episodes ago, just to hit the next episode, and everything was going wrong, or at least a decent amount of stuff was going wrong. Um, this is the first week where we're doing two XCOM videos, and I have the video planned for Wednesday. So, I have to get to uh, recording that too. But uh, the XCOM videos will definitely be recorded first since the Vince Day ones are going to change so often. This is definitely the one we want to do because the. This whole thing, this whole bar is full because we use the uh, Vigilance to pull down Renova Heights. So now the fringe is on the edge of boiling over also. So we have to fix that. Then we took we took Claymore off, put him into training to get him more armor so he feels more useful with his low. Um, his low mobility and uh, Zypher is back on the team after going through two training sessions. Overwhelm a hostile force. Nearby hostiles may rush in to back up their allies. Should a hostile force push back, hold steady until you've dealt with their reinforcements. Someone has her body armor. I think it's yeah. She gets the armor over Cherub because Cherub does have armor naturally. I think. Something else too that I uh, know of now is that we probably were better off not buying a bunch of Trank rounds, especially since we're not even using them on everyone anymore. And I've been playing the game by myself to see if there's anything that I should have done differently. Her mo no, mo momentous. Uh, Blitz's parry, lockdown attacks and enemy air into his melee range. That was probably the lesser of the two, because the other one pretty much makes it to where she's knocking everyone out instead of killing them, also dealing more damage. So, that one's more tactically useful though, because I can run her in near a bunch of enemies to try and move away, she hits them. So, I mean, I guess it's back and forth, but the other one is more actively th actively useful, this one's more passively useful. I don't think if there's anything else I need to change. Oh, I have a bunch of stuff, actually. He misses a lot, so I want that. Can't do anything for her. I wanted her to have the the auto look. Good thing I just edited the other video last night because I would have forgotten all the stuff I was supposed to change here. We wanted her to have the auto loader because she has these two abilities that use a bunch of an ammo and this prevents her uh, the first reload in the mission does not cost an action. So, and I don't reload usually, at least not in the first one, so that's going to be useful if we get into a stuff spot. Uh, you have the advanced scope and targeting system. You have an advanced stock and uh, impact frame. I don't know if impact frame is going to help him because he doesn't have subdue. He has uh, charge bath, energy, consuming all charges, or can, yeah, whatever. He has a shield bash basically, so it's not the same thing. So I think leaving his. I think targeting system still works better for him because if he hits he's gonna mark them for people who can deal more damage not unless i can afford the enhanced pistols no not quite i'm getting close though after the next few missions i think in this episode we'll probably be able to get them but there's probably enough talking for me let's actually get into the episodes that's not making noise again and that's annoying informant spotted progeny forces at this location let's see what's inside and then dismantle it. Yeah. I don't like when it does that. I think I know why it does it. Because when I load it through, first units through this entrance is marked until the end of the encounter. All units entering here get plus three mobility. All units entering through this entrance get plus 50 dodge. We want her to have the dodge. Her to have... Oh, not her. He can... Mark, he has his shield, so he's constantly... He got to have half cover no matter where he goes. Plus, he gets an extra bit of armor through there. Extra mobility will give to Godmother so she can get around with her shotgun a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Reaching. But yeah, I don't like when Time it does that. Move. It's annoying. To lose the sound. And I think I know why. So before I record the next episode, I'm going to have to back out. That's unfortunate for the stall. That sorcery. I want to make sure that I get a kill off. Especially since they're alert. Taking out either one of them is going to be good for me. And it looks like these are the only two here. Alright, he got hollow targeted. Or he hollow targeted them. 
And then Zypher can go for either the Resonant or the Brute. Do I want to? I don't want to put her that close to the Brute. That's the only downside to her. She can't really do anything against them. Because they enter melee mode, they're just going to go, I think, back and forth hitting each other. Or pretty much back and forth. Alright, let's see what happens now. What's that? Alright, once permission, an agent can be moved on the timeline, so... I've already used Tima before, I thought. Preparation grants a defensive bonus and moves the agents next turn early. I thought I've seen this one too. Interesting. Some of those missions will have additional su uh, subjectives while not required. Completing subjects will grant bonus rewards. Okay. So it's Godmother's turn right now. Who's first? The Resonant is next. I could use Subdue. This uh, this bonus mobility is definitely going to work out for her. I could take... Uh, I want to hit number two. Yeah, so let's do it from this angle. And then I can use Cherub to take on number four. And I can use uh, her turn to use Team Up so Godmother can take that shot on the Brood. I think that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to give... Can we see... No, 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 no. Kinetic Shield. Can we see Godmother? We can't. So I'm going to give it to Zypher then. And then I'm going to have Zypher Shield run and hit, him, hit them. And that person is... They're trying to take the hostage right now. I made the arrest. And I team up. Uh, cooperation, I think, is what I was thinking of. Nope. Team up. Oh, she doesn't have... Yeah, she does. Cooperation. On... Zypher. Hey, you got this. And then we'll do crippling blow here, and hopefully this will. Uh, oh, that's even better. They actually stunned. So, and then we'll just parry because you can just stay where you are because you're gonna hit on the next move anyways. And then you can move out here. Yeah, her her punch when it doesn't kill is still useful. I forget that it actually does that bonus a bonus effect because it usually kills instead of actually doing this. And we also have her crowd control ability, which. Quickly darts around and attacks at every nearby enemy before returning to the original uh, position. So that's an another good one to have. Especially if we get a lot of uh, thralls or something like that grouping up. Yeah, that was pretty good. It's a quick two encounters too. Did I choose the right mission? I feel like... resistance. This must be a progeny stronghold. I feel like this was, should have been more difficult based on what it is. Last unit through this entrance does three damage during the breach. First unit through this entrance is marked until the end of the turn. Well, we can send everyone through here. The last unit, oops, the last unit through this one does plus three damage. I can't remember who has the best aim here, but I know I think Zypher has a scope, so I'm gonna hope that she can land her shot. And not Zypher, or it's Zephyr too, as we saw from the. Last episode. Stay behind me. Which which makes sense. I don't know why I'm adding the eye sound actually. Uh I might as well use failings. Just so I don't even have to worry about his shot and I can focus uh my damage around on everyone else. Let's see if we can hit this shot. Okay. And then you can go for one of these two. If you hit them, you'll kill. So let's do that. And then I guess if you can only see two of them left, I'm going to take the shot on them. Yeah. And then you should take him out. Yeah, okay. Alright, this, this worked out pretty good. Uh, I think, actually. It depends on who goes when. So Cherub is first, and uh, Zephyr is out in the open, so I'm give her a Kinetic Shield. Zephyr? Yeah, okay. Now that's protection. So you're gonna get the Kinetic Shield, and then... Who's number two? An Acolyte that is way back there. Alright. Who can you take a shot on? You have a 100% chance to hit them, but again, your thing is so low that it, I don't even think it matters. Hmm. Well, it does matter, but... 
Now that you hit him with a shield bash, with this kill, it will. Can I get an angle that won't damage my people? I can't. And he's still covered from the two and the six. All right. So we just took their damage and gave it right back to them. Also, I realized I was slouching away from my mic uh, in a, the last few videos, I think. So the sound it was a little off, but hopefully I'm sitting up a little more and actually like in my mic. So maybe that'll help. All right, let's get her. I could get her. Oh, we don't want to actually move her up that far because of the explosives that we know about. Moving. But we can't take this thrall out right now, so might as well. Is this just clearing the room? Clear progeny safe house. Okay. Okay, so it's like an explosive range. Can I get both of them in here? I can't. They're just slightly too far apart and not in the right uh, geometry for it. Which is annoying, but can't always get it in there, right? Okay. We can damage Frag them, out. though. I think we can run in and punch them now, too. Don't you? Okay, cool. Another cool thing that I saw while I was playing by myself is what parry actually looks like when it takes effect because we still haven't actually seen that. Uh, Demolishing. In the game? Oh, I wasn't supposed to put her right there, was I? No! Okay. Okay. Give me the effects. Ah, uh, okay, I didn't get to turn parry on. All right. Let's move her. She's really far away, actually. And there's nowhere with good cover to move her to that she doesn't have to dash to. Interesting how she dashes here but can walk to this point. I guess it's the pathing that she's gonna take if she does do that. But let's move her up here. Let's see, can I get a shield? No, I can't. Alright. And we're gonna put it on Zypher and hope that bam for Zypher. Maybe we can get a perfect mission off here. I would assume that Zephyr, or Zephyr, is uh, going to be the one easiest to hit here. And then we'll put him in a... Uh, can I take the shot? If I get lucky with a crit, it might kill, right? Yeah, because he still has half cover right here. If I, Anywhere I could have moved him to would there. also still have a half cover. Oh, they're running? Interesting. Sonic Suplex. Okay, that's fine, actually. I think it has to get... All the way back to their turn for that to even matter. And Godmother might be able to take them out right now. Ooh, it's not the best chance. Yeah. The hostile. Oh, she lost her turn because she's panicked, which skipped it to her turn and gave her the suplex. That's not bad damage. I was afraid that would do way more damage than it actually just did. Are they close enough to subdue? They're not. Moving, cover me. Oh, I could hit this last target. Zypher lost their turn because she was panicked from being close to the resonant when it died. And I forgot about that aspect of the, um, the resonance. Oh, survived the onslaught. Okay, okay. Where are we at? I want you to give a kinetic shield out to... It looks like Godmother has the worst cover because she's open from there and there. She still has cover from that direction. And then you're gonna overwatch this door right here. Anything steps through, you're taking the shot. No ammo. Next up is Godmother. Let's get her, I guess, reload. Free reload. Reloaded. I can still move and go into Overwatch, can't I? Okay. So I'm gonna move you here. I'm pretty I'm sure that, that barrel is non explosive. But now it's deciding if anything comes through here and walks through this door, Zypher might. Shoot them. She's still panicked though. I don't know if how to clear that. Uh, but we're gonna do Overwatch in this direction, right? Yeah, this should cover everything. I can't really tell where that's if it's supposed to be over here or it is where it's supposed to be. Her panic is removed. Let's see. I can close this door, right? Which I guess it doesn't matter since there's a gaping hole right there, also from Zypher. But we're gonna prepare for the next turn. Alright. 
Take him out. Alright, cool. Good shit. The only thing that annoys me is that you can only get one uh, shot. Alright. Let's cooperate uh, once again with Cherub, actually. Well, the thing here is, I don't know if I want to give someone else a shield or if I want to. Can I take them out right now? I won't. So, I'll give a shield to himself. Protected from all angles. That who I thought I was going to give the shield to. That's not bad, though. And I want to spread out some, too, because it's too clumped up. I'm just too clumped up right now. Maybe right here is good so I can get an angle on that door. I might move Zypher to be right next to the door, actually. That might be uh, better. Can I take the shot on them? I have a 100% chance to hit. I don't think it's gonna. Oh wait, not my. Right. We don't chance. I was gonna get annoyed because he started taking steps around and in circles and all that. That kind of annoys me when they do that. So I can use Zypher to. I could get all the way over here, punch them, and then get back to a different position. Smashing extremity. Definitely the best part about Zypher is her mobility. And again, I did the same thing where I made her punch a resonant, so now she's panicked, and I'm gonna lose what two turns with her. That might not be bad where she ended up though. I'm not gonna lie. It's not too bad. So now I want to Overwatch. I only got to Overwatch off of one door, actually. I should have thought about. I should have looked at that, uh, but I wasn't watching carefully. I'm going to assume that they're not gonna come through the same door twice and Overwatch this area. No yeah, the I'm a tactician. Come through the door. Ooh, they come through that. Oh wait, she's still in Overwatch though. So if they come through the door. Um. Yeah, we'll be fine. You don't have an angle to shoot, but you could move up, and you're still shielded also. Let's see, do I get an angle from here? I don't. So then I'm just going to overwatch this area. Now who doesn't have a kinetic shield? It looks like, who doesn't have one? Yeah, Cherub's the last one to get his shield. Hopping and blocking. So everyone's protecting now. Anyone who gets shot at is going to immediately uh, charge Cherub up. Down. Her guiding power directs. Hmm. Interesting angle. I didn't think that they would get a shot like that, but whatever. He's up to two charge. She's still panicked, so her turn is skipped. I guess. I guess she's not getting shot like that. That's annoying. It's, I'm definitely overwatching in that direction. Next out. I guess whatever. There's not really much I can do about that. If I hit, they die. Right, yeah. Target or get knocked down. out, I guess. How did Ooh. You manage that? Oh, okay, cool. And this is the last, last wave of the Onslaught. Which hasn't been too bad, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Who's next in this turn? Number three? I could either take them out or I could subdue them. We lost a lot of shields. We lost two of the shields. And cooperation isn't ready yet. I'm gonna use team up and bring Zypher up. I can't bring Zypher up? Is she too far away or something? I can't. I don't know. Well, I guess we can uh, go ahead and take them out. Ooh, I should have used pin bound first on someone else and then shot them uh whatever i guess can i get this hang on let me see can i get this angle to hit two of them i don't think i can so we're just gonna do this one and hope that we don't have to evacuate yeah there's six down the clean and hopefully that draws the resonant to attacking cherub instead of uh Oh, this this goes far, huh? That's pretty cool. Because they still take the disorientating effect. His kinetic shield absorbed the damage. So overall, we did pretty good with the damage and not taking too much of it. I'm running low. Uh, yeah, she is running out of ammo. Well, we just have to take this last dude out is what it looks like. Otherwise, they should have let us leave already, right? Yeah, don't point at me. I'm shooting you. 
That's it. Only took a little bit of damage with Terminal. That's pretty good overall. I'm happy with that one. 20 minutes in. We probably have time for another mission. Am I going to push you with two again? Probably. Well, I probably shouldn't. Uh, McCash? The Chief said we had to work together. Doesn't that mean I have to like it? Doesn't mean I have to like it. Binker. I don't like working with a re resistance terrorist. McCash. I was a freedom fighter. You croc crockhead? Binker. The Chief isn't too so fond of people who use that slur that yeah dropping the t-word really buffs buffs his gourd from mccash and binker episode 1.01 .01, expiration day uh interesting oh i forgot i was gonna enhance subs. great work we have the progeny on the run and with far fewer places to escape all right so i guess we're getting to the end of act one uh assembly complete Five years have passed end of Advent's occupation. Life is vastly different for all of us. Human, alien, and hybrid alike. Where do we go from here? Are we capable of surmounting the many challenges before us? We'll explore these questions with a new program we call Profiles of Restoration. Each episode follows a person working to rebuild the planet and beyond. Give us a watch or a listen. We want to show you the world. I think we can go for the master crafted armor. I braid all med kits to nano kits. That might be more useful actually. Okay. So that's done. We have spec ops. We don't have any we don't have any spare. The progeny are atop the tallest building in Old Town. From there they have a view of the entire city. They're assembling a strange device up there. This must be their end game. Hmm. Can we do this mission right now? We could. It says and this will do minus four city anarchy too. So this might be the last mission for them. Can I build any field teams? I haven't built any in a while. That's level two. No, that's one, two, none. So what day is it? Two Thursday. So I guess I want to build as many as I can, right? Since tomorrow I'm gonna get paid for them, the immediate payoff. I still need more credits. That's one of the big things that's holding me up. Uh, so I'm gonna get another uh, one of those. So we have two credit, two, and oh, we have three credit ones. So I'm not gonna do any more of those. Two of them for is this Intel or Illyrium? Security team gives Intel. So we have two security, two finance, and then two technology. So one, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm I'm counting. I'm thinking about this as if it's going to be uneven it for some reason, but it's not. So, we've still been, we've been getting a lot of Illyrium lately and like holding on to it. So, uh, I want to do Intel then, because we still have a good amount of, uh, what you call it, held up. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one actually right now, because that gets us real close to being able to, um, what you call it, damn. What's the word? Being able to buy that armor that I've been not buying for the longest. So, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it that way. Let me make sure everyone else is good. You have two days left on your uh, extra, extra armor. We have no one running situations right now. And then our weapons, we have, they're I'm doing improved med kits. Very just doing improved med kits. All right. So I guess we're going to go ahead and take out the... Oh, wait. We're going to do this one. During the routine bus, 3MPD uncovered a strange device that falls within our mandate. The politely requested we take it off their hands. Yeah. So plus 80 there. Sitting in Old Town. Plus 98 that. Uh, 60 and so. Tired, and it's not even noon. What did you have for breakfast? I'll tell you what she didn't have. Big crunch. The cereal that rides? That's the one! How does that even work? We dip Gene Taylor larval nuggets into our special batter. Simply add warm milk and prepare for a big crunch. What kind of milk? Milk from any warm-blooded mammal will end the nugget's hibernation. Then you're ready for some big crunch. That sounds fun, but I'm a human. Can I have some too? Of course! Nearly everyone can eat Big Crunch. What about me? I said nearly. 
Under no circumstances should sectoids consume Big Crunch. Oh, dang. Well, I know what I'm having. A wriggling bowl of... Oh, go on. You can say it. Big Crunch. The cereal that rides. Food Life. A division of IFC. Alright, so I bought a hollow targeter to uh, target all the enemies at a breach point that helps with uh, everyone going in that shooting. And then I did buy that upgraded armor because we did get the extra credits from it being Friday. And now, yeah, it shouldn't take, it hopefully won't take us 35 minutes to do this mission, but who knows? Who knows? And I think I'm fine with the team that we have now going in. The only thing that's going to bother me is that this is going to push up into uh, anarchy levels and we still have, well, I guess we can pull it down on the next day. So I think we'll do that. And then we'll be ready for, I guess, the next investigation, if not, if it doesn't end here. So, reach hollow skin. That would mean that she has to go in first, so. Let's organize these a little bit better. Hollow Scanner, I like having her lead in. I feel like she's a leader in the team. Godmother, especially from her seniority over everyone else. We don't have any more uh, utility items. Who has the med kit? You do? I'm gonna take that from you and give it to her. I think? No, because we want to spread out our healing abilities. Uh, Trank rounds. X on that. You get the med kit. So, and there's nothing else I can add to the armor. You have the extra padding plus the enhanced body armor, plus your fist that we still don't have any upgrades for. Hopefully there's like advanced weapons for it or something like that. You're still chilling over there. So enhanced shotguns, normal sub, enhanced pistols, and then your goblets. Make all items available too. Yeah, I think we're ready for the next one. I'm gonna right back into it. What did I buy? I bought the I bought this, the hollow scanner, and then I bought the armor. Yeah, that's all I bought. All right. So let's go ahead and finish off the progeny. Rum, rum, skrrr. Yeah, those are the sounds it makes. We knew the progeny were up to something, but not 60 floors up. Whatever they're building isn't finished. We need to make sure it stays that way. All right, let's get into it. Over here, last unit through this entrance automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. All units entering through here plus 25 defense. Again, we're gonna send Zypher through there. Ooh, the extra health is looking nice on everybody, actually. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Cherub. Last unit through this entrance is automatic. Okay. Then terminal. No, sorry. I don't care who goes in which order there, actually. And then Godmother. <laughs> I want sh I want her to go in first, actually. I, I, that's how you uh, change the order, not here, but here on who goes first. So I want uh, Zephyr going in first, it's actually, so she can choose who she's gonna take out. So we can take we can hit the alert brute. We can go for the acolyte. Who else is in here? We can go for the resonant. I, I don't want to fail in the first mission, especially if they're going to shoot. I think that's what that marker means. And if they're going to shoot her, she's definitely going to go right back at them. Now, we have a lot more enemies over here that we can target. And you're likely to shoot us. Who else is going to shoot us? The Resonant. Okay. Well, we're going to take on the Brute. And start dealing damage to him, because we don't want to see what he can do. I'm still feeling we should save the the failings for like the last mission in case just in case and we can take this brute out now and that's one shot that we don't have to deal with that body flew sideways immediately uh and you can take someone out is it better to take anyone out or go for the damage ones we have a low chance to hit but i think i want what is this first the sh fire the shotgun during the breach and gain initiative boost uh, and one bonus action on your first turn. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna do this. Interesting shot. I didn't miss, miss, miss again. Oh, that's all luck right there. And you're gonna take her out just for trying that shit. Yep. Okay, who's up first? And we have a codex over there. The shielded. 
in their melee stance. I don't know what this thing is. Hunker down, escape point. Okay, and you are in Overwatch. And you're trying to escape, and you're trying to escape. There's a lot going on here. All right, so you don't have to worry about them because if they take a step anywhere, you're going to, hang on, this says, attack every nearby enemy with a melee strike. Zephyr quickly darts around and attacks every nearby enemy before returning to their original position. Hmm. She can't, she can hit in here and get two of them. I can't hit that thing, which is kind of what I want to do because I don't know what it is. But can I get three of them? I can't. Hmm. Those two are, they're farther down in the list though. It needs to be focused on two and three. Three is up top. Oh yeah, I definitely need to focus on three actually. Claymore would have been nice to have this frag grenade, but I can't really change that now. I'm going to move you. You'll have half cover right there, right? Demolishing. So I'm gonna take this person out actually. Target down for good. The rest of and you surrender. Don't mess me up now. I kind of want to put her back right here just in case that Acolyte makes a run for it. But we know the Acolyte isn't going to run. It's going to be this person. Not unless the Acolyte uh, uh, repositions. Which I'm going to hope for the reposition on the Acolyte, actually. And if they don't reposition at all during this move, then... Um... Okay, I guess that's fine, too. That's fine, also. I'm not upset. Okay. So now number two is the this acolyte. And I can use pin down to move them out of the turn order. You have a hundred percent chance there. But that's number six. So we can get them with someone else. Number two, you have a 53% chance. If I use pin down, does it end the turn? Delays the enemy's turn. I'm gonna use pin down on number two. Okay, yeah, let's push them back down. I want to take out some of this. We need to disrupt all of those moves back to back. Uh, number six is the thrall. We have a 100% chance to hit. We're very likely to kill. Okay. That's it. You're done. The brute is in melee form or, or whatever that is. That's not a position I want to see them in. So now we have to move everyone out of there. I don't know how long oh, we I'm have out. to do that. But since... We have no. Hold on. So you're in this right now. Protected from all angles. And your turn just passed. So just in case we can't move you out in time, I'm gonna put that on you. Um, number three. Which one is number three? We can't reach number three right now. This gives me cover from all of those angles. I think number three is yeah that resonant right there actually. So maybe this wasn't the best move. She doesn't have her impact frame anymore. She can though move over to here and take out that resonant. Then the only person we have to worry about is Cherub and the um, Cherub and that brute are the only thing that we I think we have to be concerned about at that point. Yeah, this is almost impossible to miss. Okay. We haven't had any um yeah, this is exactly what I knew was gonna happen. And he's stunned too, that's annoying. Limits. That's funny. Alright. Or do we want to go for them? I think we do want to go for them and potentially Shattering. disable them. Yeah, okay, cool. Stunned. That's what I was going for, not disable. And we're going to put you to parry. Weapons dry. And then we're going to use... Well, first thing we need to do is get you out of this zone over to here. Moving. Cover me. Then you can take a shot. Next time, faster. Yeah, that's, that is kind of true, actually. Then Coming from Zypher, that's fine, because she's actually the fastest. You're stunned, so you can't do anything. That bomb's gonna go off. I think I moved everyone out of range at the time. Okay, cool. So you didn't get anything with that. I don't know why she kicked them. I'm, I'm not upset, though. Maybe I should have put it right next to. Maybe that's what happened, because melee range isn't diagonal. I don't know. Maybe that's what happened with the uh, Acolyte over here. Or maybe just uh, Godmother's thing activated first. But since they were in range of her, I guess, after their turn is why. Not sure. Um, I could use Flush 
Take a shot at the enemy, forcing them to reposition. Yeah, I want to do that. And then we'll use... Uh... She has a free reload. We're only in the first one. So we'll just prepare. They're he's likely to move right back over to the chair, though. I didn't think about that when I used that. He should be... Yeah, he's not doing too good, but... He's done worse, definitely. He has the medi patch too. Fracturing. Didn't need to move over there, actually. Also could have used the dude, but whatever. Alright. You're fine to move right there. Let's safeguard chair up and give him some health back. Gremlin on the way. Ooh, this is the first time we used that this episode. We didn't even need it in the last one for real. In the last uh in the last um encounter mission we did. Bloodlust. Is he gonna try and hit her now? That's fine. Ammo out. Okay. I'm trying not to use her reload is what's happening here. Might be better because I, I can't I can't not use the free reload is the issue. So maybe I want to give her also another um Yeah, this is uh can we prepare again? Overwatch over. She's fire, free uh, team up. I can skip her turn. It. No ammo. Alright, shield's back up now. You can give yourself a kinetic shield on yourself. Yourself. And then we're gonna instantly shield bash them. We know we get free reload. I'm trying to basically not use my uh, reload. Again. Like use use a turn to reload is what I'm trying not to do. If you hit him, he's gonna absorb it with his shield. Which I kinda want actually. Or the bullet just moving closer to the ones who shoot. Why would you go for that? Oh, that's perfectly fine actually. That worked out. So I guess that I guess I should be less afraid of putting her next to brutes then. Elevators can... have been out for decades, so you get to take an alternate form of transport to the top. An enormous trampoline? It's an anti-gravity sled, cobbled together by squatters during the occupation. Mildly exposed to the elements. Well, mild to moderate exposure. You'll be fine. The trampoline sounded more fun. Units automatically activate Overwatch after the breach. First unit through this unit will be rooted for one turn. I can negate that, but this is actually the better one since there's only two enemies through this point. So first person that we're gonna do is Zypher. Then we're gonna do Terminal, Godmother, and Cherub. That way it's like close, far, close, far. It's basically a one close pattern. Go, go. In their uh, overall range. Although technically, I, I guess you could argue that Zypher is uh, a close range character. Or a long range character because of her mobility. Alright, so you're going for the Thrall. I want you to... We want to take this Sorcerer out. I don't want to deal with anything they got going on right now. And then you... I mean, we might as well take this shot. Alright. Clean encounter, not clean encounter, clean start. We have two of these things. You're on melee stance. Okay. We have to take that out. Covering my zone. Okay. Call it if you see movement. We have to start the generator. Who's up first? She is. What is this thing? Can it tell me? I'm gonna do this. Smashing extremity. Okay, that's taken out. I don't know what it is, but I, I'm just gonna get it out the way before they have any chance to use it. Number two is where? Number two is over there. Is it better to leave her where she is? Number four is the brute. Um. I'm gonna put it up here. What is she not? She doesn't have cover from the brute, I guess, right? I can't 
can't see it. Yeah, it'd be the brute. Sorry, moving the camera around so much. It's not gonna mess with anyone. Yeah, we'll leave him right there. Oh, maybe it's that angle right there. Oh yeah, that's right. That one's an overwatch. Damn. All right. Uh, I want you to use safeguard again on Chero. Get him back up to max health because I know we have a long mission ahead of us. You didn't have to do that. And then we can take yes, yes she did. You was getting your ass pummeled. Like it wasn't even funny how pummeled he was getting. Oh, hmm. Devastating blow. Miss. Surrender. Bro, the amount of luck that I've been getting in this in this episode is wild. Like he did just get his ass beat for a little bit, but uh That definitely could have been worse. How much does subdue do? Two to three? I'm not gonna risk not killing a brute up close. So I'm gonna just take this shot. Actually I can move first. I, I keep forgetting that as I'm I'm too focused on dealing the damage. He doesn't have any effects where I can't move past him, right? Changing position. Just in case he has some shit like uh, Zypher. All right, now I can take the shot. It might not be 100% anymore. Oh no, it's fine. Now it's number one's turn. They move twice. All right, cool. Give a kinetic shield to, I guess, nobody. It should move up. It should definitely move up. I guess right here should be fine because all we have to do is push that button right and then you get your guard back so let's make sure we can get this though and then if that's a problem we can uh we can punch with Zypher uh 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 what's, what's it at? oh interact okay now to get all XCOM units to the anti grabber Stun. Weapon disabled. That's not bad. Uh, definitely could be worse. Oh. And uh, parry. I'm hoping something shoots her while she is set to parry. Because it never happens. And I, it looks really cool, too. The whole animation. Well, not really cool. I guess this might be an overstatement. But no it's still level. cool to see stuff like that, you know? Uh, we'll put you on cover right here behind this mop bucket. Pretty solid defense. If I do say so myself. Never mind. Didn't matter. But she is panicked again. Tossing frag. Why are you throwing a frag right there? I've never seen that before. That's annoying because he's traded his armor too. Whatever. Whatever. She's still gonna be panicked, so I'm gonna lose her turn. Uh, you're gonna use, you're gonna use cooperation with Cypher, no, cooperation, oh, can't see her, so we're gonna move you right here, now you can cooperate with Cypher, no, where is she, oh my goodness, this is annoying, alright, where are the people coming from, we can overwatch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess they're coming from that angle. Hopefully. I'm running low. She has one shot. I'm gonna put her right here and then I'll watch the that uh, that door. I'm There's a door there? Me. Hello? Whatever. I'll watch that door. On Overwatch. And then Cherub's gonna give a kinetic shield out to Zypher while she's struggling in the corner. She needs something to keep her from getting panicked as much because. Well, I guess I am running her into these situations where she can be panicked, so... Maybe we can get this to angle where it can hit... We can't really get him to hit both doors, actually. It's fine that Zyphus that far away, actually, because... She will... Um... She has all the mobility in the world, pretty much, so she'll be able to make that sprint all the way over there pretty quickly. Yeah, see, so she's... Yeah, already caught up. On the run. She must go for jogs for fun or some shit just to be this fast. Into the action. 
Good move. Okay. I'm again gonna have her Overwatch in this direction though. Actually no, I guess I'll have Overwatch over here since nothing has a clean angle on us. And then Godmother has nothing left, so I'm gonna go ahead and move her out. And you can uh okay, we have to get everyone on there before it can move. So we're gonna use preparation now. Damn, and she wasted her grenade too. Alright, we'll put this on you, because you yourself has the defense already. And then we'll put you on the spot also. And hopefully. Okay. So she decides. It's not gonna take him out, but whatever. Okay. So now the hope is that. Um. Damn, do I want to use team up right now? I don't. The annoying. That's the only annoying thing about the auto loads. I can't reload without using it. I don't. I don't want to use it right now. I can't prepare, so I just have to skip her turn. Thing is nearly empty. Yeah, we can dash into here. That's what I was hoping for, is that she would actually be able to make it in there. There's some wall there, I guess, that I just can't see. Well, so far this mission has absolutely taken longer than I thought it would. But this is the end of the progeny, so... Oops! Of course I hit my microphone. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've done a video without hitting my mic in a long time. That sled is noisier than expected. The progeny must know you're here. And they know they can't stop us. Uh, I guess so, Cherub. Let's not get too cocky. Pressing me through this entrance is guaranteed to land a shot. Get plus 24 units here. Get the running gun ability on their first turn. I want Godmother to have ooh, the 60. I think it's 60 of them, though. I want you two going through the same one. And I'm going to send you through first. I can't send you through first, so I'm going to send in him first change you to use refresh so we come in fully loaded right because he's he's missing two health all right so this is how we want to do it i think i still want zypher first those two second godmother third time to move reaching all right all right what we got going on in here a thrall another thrall is it all thralls Interesting. I can't remember which one. It's that one that I just took out. You're gonna fail, Lynx, right now. All these aggressive ass enemies, ain't no way. And what we got in here? Another Thrall. The Resonant. Is there, I think, there's a codex in here I can see. That's not high enough. I think. I wanna hit not a Thrall, because these things are like giveaway kills, basically. So let's go for the Resonant and hope for a hit. Yeah, this shit. And then Godmother. Godmother, she doesn't have the range to take out anything but a thrall. Okay. This boy's gonna be charged up. How did someone shoot Zypher? I just saw that. Someone shot at Zypher even though we failing. Alright, they're out. She actually got pretty good cover from that too, so that all worked out. I think that's the main girl, right? That's what it looks like. Three. Yes. You shouldn't be here. I have not lit the torch. Bro, she looks like she's on some serious shit. Okay, so we have to take her out. Anything that's psionic, I believe, is getting shielded by those uh, podiums that were made. Can I? Hello? Am I pressing the wrong buttons? I think I was actually. So I do this, I'll hit all of them. Ooh, can I get all three? It looks like I can. So let's see if this works out. First time trying this, ooh, Brawler. So I guess it did work out. That's cool. I like how it did that whole thing. Panic resisted. Hell yeah, that's pretty good. Although I'm pretty sure they're finna hit. Yeah, me down. Something shot her for 4 damage through the phalanx, which is annoying, because that's why her health is so low now. And then everything's just gonna shoot at her, I guess. Okay, so you can take one of those out. Let's give that kinetic shield over to Zypher. Let's keep her alive. 
Hopefully she doesn't get a scar from this. Or if she does, it's at least not too bad of a scar. That's kind of a uh, greedy, isn't it? Making sure that she doesn't get a bad scar. Let's take out one of these. Because they're giving them shields. Sonic Bomb. That's not terrible, because we can just move out of the rank of that. Right? Great. But I'm it disabled out. all the weapons. Let's use cooperation real quick, actually. Yeah, let's cooperate with Cherub. And get another shield oh, no. out. Get another shield on. Uh, Godmother's turn is next, so I'm gonna give it to her if I can. I can't. I don't know where she's at. Uh, she's super far away, but she has running gun on her next move too, so that that should help out. I don't want to leave you in this. I'm gonna move you up to here. That should give me some good cover from everything. And then on my next turn, I should be able to take that shot and take out that thing. So I want to do running gun. Take an action after dashing. Yeah. Take an action after this. If I can, damn, I can't get over there. Okay. And she still has an action after the dash. I don't want to ventilate that, but I could. I can do a lot of damage to her right now. Which might be the move too. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the number seven is next. Our number the brute is next. It'll kill the brute straight out too, but it'll do a lot of damage to her. I don't think there's any healing abilities. Oh, we did see one healing ability, or at least I have. But it's possible that Ooh. Oh wait, give it a shield on. I had a feeling this would happen actually. Shit, I thought I had in the and then immediately forgot I did. Alright. Cypher's turn is next. And honestly, she can get revenge for what they just did to her. Especially since old leader girl is uh real close and real low. Not you. I wanna hit the leader. The leader. The leader? Hello? There. No. Bro, give me the main girl. There, shit. And I want to hit her from there, and uh, hopefully that's going to deal that little bit of extra damage. Not a little bit, actually. But be able to take out uh, Thrall. The Thrall also. Or I can just parry. I'm going to parry, actually, because she has a good cover. I'm going to parry, actually, because she has a good cover from everything else. Did she miss? I guess she missed. Didn't realize that was a possibility. Missed shot right there. Oh man, I'm out. Okay. Can you shield bash anyone? Any any actual person. Okay. That's complete overkill for that. But uh is that a dash? I think that might be a dash. I do wanna give Hmm I think I wanna give Chair up the shield. Just in case that's not a dash. It is, or not the dash, just in case it was a dash. I can put him up somewhere and not have to worry about it. Cypher did just kill her, though. Maybe it would have been better to take her as um, a, ho a hostage. Found a better position. Not a hostage. What's the, what's the correct word for that? I can't remember. Whatever. Yeah, the psionic bomb thing isn't actually too bad. As long as you remember it's there, you should be pretty good. What are you going to do, a point blank shot? Who are you going for? Yeah, it didn't matter. You actually put yourself in extreme danger now. Weapons dry. Your weapons dry. We're gonna heal Zyphert now. Need a little help? Yeah, she needs a lot of help. Actually. It's best. actually. And we do think it's best. Uh, I don't know why they all seem so against getting help. I'm gonna use team up on. That mother's already next, so I'm gonna just team up on Zypher. On Zypher. I don't know why she can't see Godmother, but that doesn't really matter. Okay. And then reload. Ready for anything. Hmm. So now you, ma'am, can take out this thrall. Demolishing. 
broke the hostile. And then parry. And Godmother is disorientated. We have a free reload though. And then now you can take this shot. We have a good chance to crit. I think if we crit, we'll kill. We didn't crit. We didn't even do good damage on that either. So that's annoying because he's going to get a hit on us, right? Maybe I should have moved him first. Interesting. Interesting. Devastating blow. Not that devastating. Missed but grazed. Okay. We're going to take you out. No, we're not actually. We'll give a kinetic shield to Godmother because she's yeah, in this terrible situation with the. Uh, what you call it? Not unless Cherub can take him out. Cherub could take it out, but he won't be able to, to double up that damage, basically. So it's out of range for any uh, little comboing specialty type thing. That's good. That's what we want to see. Reducing profile. And then you can take the shot on the last living enemy, please. And don't, don't fuck, uh, of course you did. Right. Oh, fuck, that's me, actually. Because her, um, health is, not health. He has armor, that's what it is. It's okay, though, so I'm just going to come in and punch them. Do I have to take out those generators? Because they're not actually anything. We have a guaranteed shot if we choose to hit them. Right? Lightly wounded, lightly wounded, wounded. That's not bad. 12 captured and Yeah, captured them. That's the word. Because host not hostile. Hostage definitely isn't right. But I think it's when I load it with GeForce, which is like the graphics card thing that comes with it. Is why it loads with no sound. So I've improved meds, clicks, claymore has finished his uh, unlocked potential child's play. Uh, I've been buried the records of or destroyed them prior to wars and Either way, we have no clear idea of how many human children they swept up for Project Mnemonic Lathe. There could be hundreds of extremely powerful, undetected, and likely unstable scions scattered across the planet. Until proven otherwise, we should consider them unex unexploded ordinance. Oh, okay. Confidential report of the Global Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Fuck, we lost the sound of this. Great job, Chimera Squad. The progeny thought they could force a sonic evolution. This is annoying. But their tech was only capable of scrambling sonically sensitive minds for miles around. So they can't even finish what they were able to do. What they thought they were going to do. You stopped the progeny in their tracks and saved hundreds of lives. Yeah, this is real annoying. I don't know why we're losing sound in the cutscenes, because that's really all it is. Alright, so we finished everything. After there. reviewing the intel from your investigation, we're left with more questions than answers. The progeny tried to build a psionic weapon atop an old skyscraper. This required secrecy. Mayor Nightingale's death made their goal more difficult to achieve. Worse, there are clear signs they had external backing. Until we know more, we've designated their silent partner, Atlas. Should we run down leads on Atlas? No, there's too little to go on. Mayor Nightingale's death remains your priority. You mentioned two other groups who could have aided her killers, but... Focus on one. If Atlas becomes more than just a theory, we'll update. Alright, so now, has funding to hire more mercenary muscle. Zuko so has a brood of... A brood clutch of crystalline eggs and the means to deploy them as, as living weapons. I'm kind of scared what they might end up with. I know Chrysler does this thing, which is basically a mindless killing insect. Sacred coil is what happens when former Advent officers find religion or create one. They claim to be the true path for City 31's hybrids, as long as that path involves armed sedition. All right, so Sacred Coil is up next. We have a lot of new stuff. Oh, new recruit. So we have patchwork. We have Torque and we have Shelter. 
I think I want to take Patchwork immediately is my first thought. Psionic app, ally buff, mental attack, utility, electronic disruption, don't worry, we can fix it, move enemies, allies, and poison. Yeah, I think I'm going to take, I'm going to take Patchwork. Did we already read hers before? I think we did, right? Orphan and grievously wounded, lost both her legs. So yeah, we've read Patchwork before. We've read him before, too. I don't think we read her. I don't know, maybe Buffs would help us, though. Mental attacks. Can't be your weapon, but I will be your shield. Siberia. Hatched is a new Arctic facility in 2020s, zero years old. Attached to admin, learned to target and track down undesirable elements. Hunted down resistance groups. Actively fought resistance forces, XCOM for war duration. Offered to serve as uh, opposing force. Training for post-war XCOM soldiers in training because, in her own words, the tension is boring and this way I can still fight XCOM. Placed under the direct supervision of Co Colonel Kelly, with whom she formed an unexpected bond, requested a transfer after Colonel Kelly's promotion to director of the XCOM Reclamation Agency, assigned the Chimera Squad with the director's approval. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take Patchwork. Patchwork, when did you get in? Not so long ago. What's wrong? I spec'd out a whole workshop for our field office. Which is currently sitting in a warehouse while they finish the building. I'm sorry. I'll be fine. I just need to find a place to tinker. Pick any open floor space. There's so much of it. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, first thing we need to do actually is get her armor tinted up right. Tinted up light blue. That's that's interesting. Okay. And her loadout. She carries an assault rifle. We haven't done anything with assault rifles yet. Yeah. Who should hack door? Hack open a door. At a breach point, reprogram patchwork sends the gremlin to reprogram a robotic enemy and take control of them. Effects last for three turns, four turn cooldown if the reprogram retents succeeds, one turn cooldown otherwise. Oh, chaining joke. Patchwork sends the gremlin to an enemy to jolt them, attack chains to nearby enemies, damage to increase. Damage is increased against robotic enemies. Alright. So you have the extra armor now. Who else do we want to train? Okay, oh, okay, the med kits are done. Progeny equipment. Talon round, relocation disc, mind shield. Progeny signate, turn code grenade, lift grenade? Hmm. I like the sound of the turn code grenade. So we're gonna go with that. But we're gonna switch out Verge actually, and we're gonna put in someone different now. Let's put in. Let's put in Cherub. Yeah, Cherub's gonna take a little rest. We're gonna put Verge back in the team now. Unrest intensifies City 31. Any ignored mission will add two unrest to the district. Any ignored situation will add one unrest to a district. Okay. I don't know why it's doing It's giving me these things like I haven't seen them before. Okay. Then we have the Investigate Sacred Core mission, which we're gonna do. Shit, I don't have time to do that. So actually, all the stuff that I'm changing now doesn't matter. I'll just have to watch the end of the video. Again, but we're gonna put. Patchwork in. I'm gonna put Verge in. I'm gonna put Claymore back in. And then you are on that. We have no one being trained right now. Let's see. Can Zypher be trained? No. But Godmother can be. We know that. Excuse me for sure. Unlock potential mobility increased by 1, dodge increased by 15. So let's do that. And then we're gonna have Zypher do some field research. Next item you buy from the scavenger market is free. 35 Illyrium, 80 Intel, 100 credits. Is there anything we want to buy right now? I think we need new guns, actually. So yeah, we'll put her in to get the uh, the credits. Yeah. So Zypher. Begin. So, now, before I start the next episode, I just uh, watch the end of this video. And... Be right back into it. But uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow all my, all my, other social medias in the description below, Instagram especially, because that's where you where you'll find out what videos are coming out in a week before you even have to come see it. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.